finest weed I've ever seen. Hey guys, Ray right here, and we're back with some more Pokemans. Don't worry, that that wasn't the 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 the, the capture card. That's that was literally just the game kind of trying to catch up. But um, we're back with more Pokemans. I'll try not to make this episode too long. I know the first one was like an hour. That was still for the introduction because I was still looking around at everything. I took a, a minute to like get used to the controls again of, of this old hear me. And now, we're ready to explore some Mesa Gooses. If there is any audio cuts, I do apologize. It literally is not my fault. There's, there's nothing I can do about it. But I hope you all are doing well and having a good day. I'm doing decently. Welcome. Hey, dude, what's up? This is Mesa Goza, the biggest city in Paldea. Indeed. Hey, can let me, let me ring your bell. From the future or what? <laughs> All right. Can I run? There's a crouch button. What the? I don't remember. Ain't no fucking crouch. Since when? A? What does A do? Okay, A don't do shit. That read that. Okay, A picks up. That's right. Okay. Can't believe there's a fucking crouch button. I didn't even know of this. There's a potion here. Alright. Yo, what up, dude? Mr. Four Frames a Second. I don't know what he said. I'm not gonna pay attention to it. Bronzong is so shooting. It lets me get inside it from time to time. It's the most calming, peaceful experience. It lets you get inside of it. It's very interesting. Whatever floats your boat, woman. I wanna ride on it. So, uh, little Seuss kid. There's a little Seuss. Finally out of class. Uniforms are so cool. No, they're not, kid. Trust me. You think they're cool when you're young and then you get to them and it's like, Dude, I don't be wearing this shit. What's this? It's a vending machine. What kind of drink do you want? Uh... No, no, I'm good, dude. I, I'm, I'm, I'm maybe later. I'm not really that thirsty right now. Speaking of thirsty, I have a whole bottle of tea right here with me. Because I know there's going to be a lot of damn talking. My throat's going to get real dry. Let me take a quick sip. <sighs> now we're back at it. Sandwich? <gasps> it's what this whole game is meant for. It's sandwich. Let me enter sandwich. New sandwiches. Pikachu for me. What's your favorite Pokemon of all? Okay, got you. What about you? No talk? Alright. Yeah, I, I, I don't really talk inside shit like that, dude. Hey, yo, it's a gulpin. Yo, he hungry. Got you. Yo, there's a slow bro. What up, dude? He do be kind of slow. What does that say? Doesn't it just make you want to take a photo? Totally. It's a Bonsley. You making progress on your pork decks? Okay, these sandwiches actually do look pretty good. Hey, yo, the meatball marinara, damn. Excuse me, chair. Excuse me, sir. If I put the fillings in like so, and then do the condiments like this. Oh, hello, sorry, I was really thinking hard about something just now. I research sandwich recipes, you see. My dream is to one day discover amazing recipes worthy of being called master level. I can teach you recipes too, if you like. If I think up new recipes, I'll be sure to teach them to you. Got you. Welcome. Yes, I would like a sandwich. Every kind of sandwich. Any way you want. Welcome to every which way. Yo! Okay, wait. Zesty sandwich. Jam sandwich. Marmalade sandwich. Tropical sandwich. Avocado sandwich. Flavor sandwich changes depending on the ripeness of the avocado. One never tries of eating this. I like avocado in my sandwich though, that shit real good. A zesty sandwich, I like the sound of this one, it's got spice in it. Yes. There you go. What's happening? Oh, okay, cool, nice. Fool! Spice is always amazing. A zesty sandwich. God damn. Nice! Thank you for your patronage. Please come this way anytime you witch. Got you. 
it's an, uh, that was pretty cool. I actually did like to see that I get to see my pork mains here with me. Nice. Welcome to Seabreeze Cafe, a space to relax away from the hustle and bustle of daily life. Spicy potato? You know damn well I'm eating that shit. Interesting. You cannot go into there. Okay, got it. What's in here? I'm exploring everything, I'm sorry. Welcome, welcome. Seafood Fresco is happy to serve you. Ooh, seafood. I love seafood. Pinchos. Arroz con leche. There it is. There it is. The fucking rice with milk. Rice, milk, and cinnamon. That shit real fucking good. Smoked filet with herbs. Ceviche. I don't know what that is. And seafood pasta. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hello, hello, and welcome to Barados. Dry curry, chocolate, vanilla, fruit parfait. That should look pretty good. Caesar salad. <laughs> He's in here? Lemon gelato. It's a Pikachu. Nice. Salzburg steak with fry fixings. Hell yeah. There's a lot of good shit here. And the normal doors. Alright. Wait, what? Pokemon are just too darn cute. So I thought that said damn. I was like, wow, they're actually putting swears in here. At the Pokemon Center. That nice lady at the Pokemon Center always gives me little tips when my Pokemon get healed. Is it just me? You think she likes me? I don't know, man. Who knows? Hello and welcome to the Go For Broke Grill. Paya de Paldea. Okay. Fruit Punch. Potato Tortilla. Interesting. Escalivada. Clough Al... Ajilo? Ajilo? I, I, I don't know. I, I actually don't know that one. I'm gonna be honest. Interesting though. They just tossed my ass out. I'm still looking pork balls and a heel ball, okay. And then you can literally just give your your phone cases. A Sprigadito case? <laughs> where? How do you know where it's at? Uh yes, indeed I have. Not good. Thanks. Th thanks on me. I almost walked right back in there. There is a lot of shit here. Oh boy, there's a whole Pokemon battle center. Excuse me, ma'am, but why are you so damn thick? Do you care how big your Pokemon are? Uh, I guess not really. Hey, did you know Pokemon of the same species can come in all sorts of sizes? I actually did not know that. I mean, it makes sense, but like, in here, I didn't know that. Did they always do that? Or was it just a this a this Pokemon title that they do it? Take my patchy rice. Hachi Risu, my bad, my my brain only sees what I wants to see, and I say it. It's easy to see the difference between them, right? Me, I've got a sharp eye. I can tell the exact size of a Pokemon just by looking at it. Want me to just just how big or small your Pokemon are? Sure. I want you to check my purse lane. This one. Let's see here. Look at that. A perfectly average sized specimen. It's the gold standard for normality. Amazing. Great! Whoa. That was actually just uh, the game. It, it, it tried catching up. Rain in Paldea. Rain in Paldea isn't that cold and it stops really quickly, so nobody here uses an umbrella. Oh man, the rain don't last here that long? I like rain. It's kind of whack, actually. I really do love rain. Yo, they just teleported in. Yo, your past lives to me. What? My, my, I sense great depth to your past. You must have seen much in lives gone by. I can study your rotom phone to peer into the past lives you've lived. I call it rotometry? Rotometry, okay. Care to try? Sure. Ah, your past. It drew my eyes. I see all you once lived in. Oh, where is this? Sino? Yes, yes, it's coming into clearer focus. In this previous life, you once tread the grounds of Sino. I see you digging beneath the surface of the Sino region itself and dazzling crowds in super contest shows. Allow me to fashion for your Rotom phone a case that benefits your memories. And there. Your case is finished. Carry it proudly. 
<laughs> it read the memory of fucking Diamond and Pearl. If you wish to plumb your memories for more past lives, come to s come speak to me again. Got you. That's kind of cool, actually. Home Ek history. Sagu's Home Ek is really useful class to take. What about you? Okay, it it's the same thing. Got you. What's all this here? Got you. What's this? A town? A city? There are three. So what's the difference between a town and a city anyways? Is it the size? Uh... That is actually a really good question. I don't even know that. I would say a town is... Smaller... Than a... City? And a city's like... Miles long? I actually don't know, but then that, that other person said that there was three. Where's the third one? Oh, I, oh what happened? what's going on here? <laughs> don't you get it? If you join Team Stair, you can shine as bright as anybody. Grunt A and Grunt B? Where's B? Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. I kind of just want to do my own kind of thing. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already, damn it. Uh, I'd, I'd rather not. That's a her? Huh? You want it on this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get to you next we've nearly got this one in the bag we're team star kid we burn so bright it hurts to look at us but you knew that right yeah uh, nope I had no idea no idea who you are uh, another ignorant little nobody here I'm finally part of team star and I still get no respect I gotta work my way up the ranks hey we can't just let something like this slide the honor for our team's on the line so we've got no real choice but a battle yeah that's true you keep watching that little four eyes over there I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stairs oh, shit double battle you're challenged by team stair grunt a oh, shrewdle what is th that thing looks really weird all right you know what you know what let's change it up a bit let's change it up a bit let's go with Fido all right per slain we'll switch you up for just a while go Fido you are all the ingredients here they ain't do shit watch I'm gonna lick you Lick. Doesn't affect the shootle. Oh no, you can't lick the shootle. Don't worry, it's made of dough. You can, you can like form it into whatever, and it'll be completely okay. <clears throat> it's just a scratch tackle battle. Covet. I'm gonna steal whatever you got. Oh my god! Oh shit! Yo, the theme? Holy shit. That theme is, uh, it's pretty good. Hell yeah. Yo, oh, the chunk leveled up. How come I'm the one seeing stairs? 416. Yeah, that's right. Give me your money. What? Scatterbug is evolving? What level did he reach? I didn't even know he leveled up. Not gonna lie. What is this thing? Congratulations, your scatterbug evolved into Spupa. Spupa's data has been added to the Porkidex. Spupa doesn't live in a fixed location. It roams where it pleases across the fields and mountains, building up the energy it needs to evolve. Interesting. It learned protect. Nice. 
Duh, why isn't nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. No way he beat you? Shush, shush. Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up Team Star's ranks? Pero buen- wait, hold up. Pero bueno, what do you think you're doing? Ugh, it says student council dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. Yo, I haven't heard that word dweeb in a long time. I can't believe you, eh? You don't have to go find randos to battle, you have to- You ha- You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me! Obsession, Jesus. That's really not what happened. Wait, THEY picked a fight with you? Wow! I read that the wrong way, sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. Yeah, uh, I couldn't de I couldn't tell from the helmets they were wearing. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi. We weren't- no, no totally not doing that. Uh-uh. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra-rare gift to you. What is it? The Terra Orb? Oh, is this the terrestrializing shit? You put the Terra Orb in your bag's key items pocket. Terra Orb, an orb that holds within it the power to crystallize. When it is changed with energy, it can be used to cause poor command to terrestrialize. Yep. Ha! <laughs> awesome. With this Terra Orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see, after it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Sprigadito will be a Grass-type. Normally, you've got to take special classes to be able to get one of these Terra Orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Now, time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I just explained it to you. Understandable. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with his Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Uh, never mind, I'll take my chances with the new kid. Then take your places and battle. God damn, Nimona. Thirsty, sorry. Alright, Team Star Grunt. Young Goose? I guess I'm I'm forced to use Purse Lane. Here in the Paldea region, Pokemon can crystallize through a strange phenomenon. The people call this terrestrializing. You can terrestrialize your Pokemon by selecting the terrestrialize button in metal. When a Pokemon terrestrializes, its type changes into its Terra type. Moves of the same type as this Terra type will become much more powerful than usual. It'll be doubled, I bet. After terrestrializing the Pokemon once, you won't be able to terrestrialize the Pokemon again until you heal up at a Pokemon Center. So use this strategy wisely to seize victory in battles. Got you. Um. Hold on. Battle. Oh, that's how you terrestrialize. Mmm. <laughs> nice. Uh, I guess leafage. Oh my god. The finest weed I've ever seen. Absolutely destroyed. It's obliterated, that poor young goose. There's nothing left of him. Alright. Great! Personally, wants to move to learn the move Magical Leaf. Should another move be forgotten, place it? Sure, let's see what we can replace. Use your attacks by pelting the target with leaves. What does this do? The user scatters curious leaves that chase the target. This attack never misses. Hold on. 60 power? Hell no, leafage is gone. Hell no. Is it okay if we get leafage in order to learn magical leaf? Yes. Boom. Personally, I forgot leafage. I learned magical leaf instead. Hell yeah. Tarantula learned... Assurance? Your Pokemon burned so bright. Yeah, it did. It, it actually became a gem and it was actually pretty bright. 468. That's right! That's right, give me your money. 
Nice, Ray. You pulled off stress lazing no problem. Moves of your Pokemon Terra type will hit even harder when it's stress lazing, you know. Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. Go to charge your Terra Orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team, though. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah. Ha, so la vista! Ha, I didn't, I didn't actually catch that. Me too! Ha, so la vista! So yeah, Team Stair is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, for what I hear. Uh, excuse me. I, uh, I just... Well, thanks. So yeah, see you around. No problem. Homie? I guess? Oh, look at you, Ray, already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That EV bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, seems like the trouble has died down, so we'd better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. I love stairs, actually. But I will agree. The EV bag? Floof? Soft. I'm, I love soft shit. Go to school. Now the game's forcing me to go to school. I don't want to, damn it. Class and whatnot. Learning, knowledge. You, you, you good dude. Time to study hard. You should kind of try, try to... I'm sorry, your frames per second were messing with my mind so bad I forgot to speak. Oh yes, dash. Is this faster? I can't tell if this is faster or not. What's this? So tough. This is the famous torture, torturously long staircase of the academy. Not an easy climb, is it? I kind of got up here pretty easily, actually. Not gonna lie. Here we are. We made it to campus, the academy. Colleague. Here we are, Ray. Welcome to UV Academy. This here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me. And those halls off to the sides lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason, they banned Porkman battling in the main entrance. Got you. I thought they banned Porkman in there. Master A, Miss Nimona. How did you find your first school commute? Oh, it was, it was awesome, dude. I imagine Miss Nimona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion ranked student council president. Bible as ever, Miss Nimona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Ray? Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? It was down the stairs from front gates. From front gates? Yeah. Front gates, um, I guess the front gate would be pretty great. They were ha they were hassling this kid with an EV backpack. They were harassing her and everything. I wasn't there. It was like, yo, yo. They kept harassing her, telling her like, yo, you gotta sign up. If you ain't signing up, we're gonna we're gonna like take all the shit out from your backpack and we're gonna we're gonna smack you up until you sign up. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Ray flexed on them, and ran them off. Hell yeah, you terrestrialized the Sprigido became like super ripped and just flexed. Oh, you don't say. Of course it's a fine thing to help a, new a fellow student master, eh? But you might wish to show a bit of restraint to find your feet here, Academy. Mona, do you remember that the school is in such troubles? Yes, sir, director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say. That might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class. Ah, and Mr. Mona, if you're good, do report to Mr. Star Business. You got it, sir. Ah, uh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A, Ray. Come on, I'll show you the way. Damn, they don't even let me walk there. How unfortunate. I'm trying to read that. Hold on. Fuck. Oh, the frames. The frames. Good morning, Mr. Jacques. Hello, hello, everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Ooh, ooh, me. I want to hear news. 
I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. Yo, you got me. What the fuck? I wonder what they'll be like. Alright, you can come on in. Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm Ray. Did you hear that? He seems super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to know you, Ray. Alright then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Me, me! Can I ask a question? Uh, sure, what's up, dude? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Oh, God. Everything's cool about Pokemon, I'm gonna be honest. Really? Awesome! I'm totally the same! Does anyone else have a question for their new classmate? Me, I have a question. Yeah, what's up, Nimona? What up? You went to all that trouble of enrolling here, so... Spill, Ray. Eh? What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Oh god. That is a good question. That is actually a really good question. I don't actually know. <laughs> I don't actually know. Fair, I get it. The possibilities are endless, right? Who can decide? Exactly. Thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Ray. I'm Mr. Jacques. I can teach biology here at the Academy. And I'm also your homeroom teacher. Now to your seat. Second row from the front. Got you, homie. Alright. You rag muffins, be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Jacques. Wow, everybody here moves at four frames a second. Get to know the Academy campus by exploring a bit on your own. Oh god, how, how do I... okay. Battle class is available? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so it's only like the first few up here. What? You wanna talk to me? Yeah, what up? Okay, I guess you have nothing to say. When class is in session... When class is in session, we tend to be on our best behavior, but our best still isn't that good. Yeah, classes do tend to be rowdy sometimes, about before. Thanks for answering my question earlier. Weren't you a little back? Weren't you a little bit more behind here? Huh, interesting. Welcome to the academy. Thanks, homie. Looking for Nimona? Looking for Nimona? She got called to the staff room just right now. Got you. You can now move around the school. Try checking out places on the map where you see that someone might be hanging around. Perhaps you'll discover something. Got you. Now choose a location and start exploring. Oh boy. Cafeteria? I'll go to- mm. I don't know where to go. I guess cafeteria. This is quite literally just the, explora the exploration episode. What do you get when you mix a Rotom with a microwave? Do you get it? Absolutely destroyed phone. When Rotom enters a microwave, it turns into heat Rotom. I heard it even changes type. Huh? Uh. I. I. I, I guess I won't question it. This is fruit, right? I've been told there are Pokemon that camouflage themselves as fruit. Oh, the. The, the dragon apple one, that's right. I forgot about that one, actually. Welcome. Hope your studies are going okay. What do you have today? Five alarm sandwich. Yo, peanut butter sandwiches are pretty good. A pickle sandwich. Pickles are the only filling in this single-minded sandwich. It's an exceedingly simple meal. I'm, I'm certain it is. Pickles do be pretty good. I'm good. What's this? Everything's better together. Sandwiches you make together taste even better when you eat them together. Fruit makes a delicious addition to sandwiches, you know. Uh, I don't know about that one. Depends if you have just like a whole fruit sandwich. I have a good meal. Get some meal powers. Maybe that'll help my grades. What about you behind here, huh? Not the bee. Not the bee. I haven't. I haven't even had firsts, and I already want seconds. 
It's interesting. Oh hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Yeah, from the lighthouse, dude. I remember you. I'm surprised you're here in the cafeteria. Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? No need to tell me your name, Ray, right? The whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Wow, really? What's this dream first? <laughs> Caught your interest, have I? You wanna hear all about my dream, right? Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. The great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food. See? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as he eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica, based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once, they've been pro They've been powdered! They've been powdered! will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging, it'll even boost the immune system. It'll prevent aging? God damn! Hmm, it's quite interesting. Immortal? Immortality? These herbs seem like they're the real deal, only found here in Paldea, and rare to boot. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's gonna be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprigs. Cause see, Titans, well, I think they've gotta be things like this. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descend further into Area Zero, we begin to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Interesting, interesting. Hold up, Arvin. I gotta take a quick swig of my tea. Okay, I'm ready to hear you out more, buddy. Oh, oh, there's more to it. I'm sorry. My, my bad. Monsters of Area Zero. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. Uh, I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan. Yet differences such as its textures and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate. Something of its treads, of its treads of iron. Is it like that one, um, <clears throat> I forgot what it was called, the one from, uh, no, not Sun and Moon, Sword and Shield, the turtle one, the one that bites chunks of iron, kind of reminds me of that one already. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. What about Nimona? Don't, don't you all... Talker or nothing, you haven't bothered talking to Mona at all? She's literally a champion, dude. Come on. And I never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. Oh, okay. That's why. <laughs> I literally just said it. And there he gives he gives me a complete full answer. But here you waltz up, you've gotta help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Sure, why the hell not? You're you're looking for immortality. You are literally looking for immortality for just sandwiches. That's why people were making the memes. The sandwiches. Immortality sandwiches. Wow. <laughs> nope. Wait. I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be Titans in your map app for you. Got you. <clears throat> Yo, I like this case. Damn. Oh god. False Dragon Titan. Waking Earth Titan, Open Sky Titan, Lurking Steel Titan, Stony Cliff Titan. The Titans layers have been added to your map app. Path of Legends. Let it stew a bit. We can get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this. 
A little gift for listening and all. Bag of Stardust? Keep it the bag of Stardust in your bag's treasures pocket. Stardust. Lovely red sand that flows between the fingers with a, with a loose silky feel. It can be sold at a low price at shops. Got it. Give the idea some serious thought, please! Got you, homie Arvin. No problem, homie. No problem. I can get you your immortality sandwiches. Why, what's up? What's up, phone? You good? That wasn't a virus, right? This is Ray, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Oh, God. I wonder who this is. <clears throat> it was a virus! Damn it! Oh, I'm sorry. Who are you? My name's Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Ray. You know about Team Star, right? I barely, I barely met him today, but sure. Great. I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation. And I'd like you to be one of them. Sure, dude. Hold up. I need another swig. Delicious. But yes, I will be of use. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave you to it. See ya. That was interesting. Ah, oh, Master A. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? Of course, sir. Sorry, my bad. My bad, homie. It was just an unexpected call. I, I promise it won't happen again. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go, then, young man. Thank you, Mr. Clavel. I'll be on my way to class now. Team Star. There's a book entitled Times and Moves 2. Do you want to read it? Sure, why not? When Borg Man terrestrialize, their type becomes their Terra type. That means moves of their Terra type will have their power increased. Moves of the Borg Man type will keep their usual power increased as well. For example, if Pikachu, which is innately electric type, has steel as its terra type, then upon terrestrializing, it would receive boost in both power for both the steel move Iron Tail and the electric type move Thunderbolt. Huh, interesting, so you can boost two moves at once. Depending on which type you want to actually... Interested in any classes? Good morning, Master A. What class would you like to take? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Not right now. What's this? Where do you want to go? Staff room. All right, let's go. Let's go see Mimona. We'll talk to Mimona, and I guess we'll call it quits for the episode. Don't want it to be too long. Whoa. Who are you? God damn. Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my seat. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. Glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Sorry, madam. Oh, Ray, hey. I'm gonna go with she looked awesome. <laughs> Good eye, she sure is. That lady is, well, they call her La Primera, 
She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any party man trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me, remember in homeroom when I asked what your dream is? If you're still trying to decide what it is you're looking for, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank, like me. Sure, why not? Oh wow, hang on though, I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get to the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You gotta take on 8 Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test. The champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last you'll be a champion. It's every Porkman's trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of this school year. It's great, you gotta leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found. Maybe. I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app in case you decide to go for it. Got you. Ooh. Very simple case, but I enjoy that too. The Porkman gym locations have been added to your map app. Dally gym, Cascarafa gym, Cortondo gym, Alfornada gym, Montenervera Gym, Glacidio Gym, Lavincia Gym, and Artisan Gym. Victory Road. Give it some thought. Got you. Ding dong dong ding. Calling Master Ray to the director's office, please. But there's a Riolu right there. Please, there's a Riolu right there. Once again, Master Ray to the director's office, please. Great. Riolu, Riolu, please. <laughs> Whoa, thanks for, thanks for coming to say bonjour. Wait, but I wanna... No, 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 I, I, wanna, I wanna talk to the Riolu. I want. It won't let me. It won't let me. There's a Ryulu right here and it won't let me. Right for it. Taking time out of your day to attempt to converse with me? You must be absolutely mad. Is it again? Alright. Maybe. Hello, Ray. Feel free to come ask me questions anytime. Got you. Where do you want to go? Director's office, I guess. Hey yo, Mr. Clavel, you wanted to see me? Thank you for coming, Master A. Have you been enjoying your time here at Uva Academy? Yes, yeah, so far I have, actually. That is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Oh god, I wonder who that is. Where are they? Ah, oh, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. It 
Big TV man. Is he coming out the TV? Oh, it's him. I forgot his name. Hello, Ray. It is nice to meet you. My name is Professor Turo. I carry out Porkman research within the great crater of Paldea. At a site known as Area Zero. It's like Area 51? What the fuck? God damn! That's a huge ass hole nerf! The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Ray, student ID number 805C393. You're the student who travels with the unusual poor command Mirrodon, is that correct? Yes, it is actually. I just got him not too long ago. Before we got here to the academy, actually. Thank you. I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. Ah, not that I... I do not mean to offend you, in fact. I wish to ask for your assistance. Uh, with what? What's up? What do you need help with? Nausea? Oh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Diaz. Mirrodon was once in my care, you see. His Porkable was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin? I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Porkaman myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Meridon on my behalf? Hell yeah, dude. I'm down with that. I do appreciate your agreement. Meridon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, on a form of specialized form ability. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information, if you would please get out your phone. No problem, homie. Here you go. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then... Alright, see ya, Professor Chiro. Interesting. Interesting, uh, Professor. Now, Gia GS. Could this Pokemon have its origin? Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Turo, now tell me you actually did it. Taking another swig. My bad, Professor. Hold up. Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Meridon. Will do, Professor. Thank you for uh, contacting me to meet you in the office and for introducing me to Professor Turo. Hello, excuse me. Hey, Nimona, what's up? Oh, you're still here, eh? Oof, getting called in the director's office? How'd you land in that much trouble already? Nah, kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, Ray. Let's go check it out. Oh, my. Ta -ta -ta -shan. From today on, this is your room, Ray. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed? Looks comfy. And you must be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? A quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you've rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. Alright, see you, Nimona.
Nice, my very own room. And a whole place to do cooking too, hell yeah. I don't like the placement of this bed though. I, I wish it was like up here at the corner corner. And then this shelf like maybe like right here. Right here, you know. Everything else is fine. Everything else I feel is completely fine. You can go inside the bathroom. Nope, unfortunately, you can't. Well, I guess that will be it for this episode of Pokemon. I know it was a little bit boring still because um, exploration and then more story mode stuff. But that's how it has to be. I'm certain that's how many other parts are going to be like. Not all of them, but like a few others are. Because they're, they're still trying to explain the rest of the story and like more mechanics, I'm certain. But if you guys have it, if you guys have made it this far into the episode, amazing, great, thank you for the support. If you guys are new here, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I haven't said that in a while, and it still feels weird. I will see you guys in the next episode of I don't know what. I can see you in the next episode of Pori Man, maybe in the next video, even. What that video is gonna be? No idea. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Have a good one.